In this movie, I'll introduce you to the new Anchor Point tool, which allows you to bend straight segments in Illustrator. I'm going to start off by selecting the Polygon tool from the Shape Tool flyout menu. And then I'll draw a polygon from the center out is the way it always works. And this just happens to be a hexagon, which is fine for my purposes. And I'll go ahead and press the Shift key as well so that it's upright. And then I'll release my mouse button. And I'll increase the line weight, let's say this time, to four points. And now I'm going to go to the pen tool, click and hold on it, and drop down to the anchor point tool here in the flyout menu. So it's basically a reinvention of the old convert point tool. And notice that it has that same keyboard shortcut as that tool did in the past, which is Shift C. And now notice that I can hover my cursor over a straight segment, and it doesn't even have to be selected, incidentally. If I press Control Shift A or Command Shift A on the Mac to deselect the shape and then hover my cursor over a segment, you'll see that I get a little black arrow head along with this little curved segment next to it, which is telling me that as soon as I drag this segment, I'm going to add curvature to it. So yet another way to round off polygons inside of Illustrator. So I'll go ahead and move this guy downward. I might move this one downward as well. You can only work on individual segments at a time. Really the only trick that's available to you is the shift key. And if you shift drag on a segment, you'll see that you're going to drag out these constrained control handles that are going to be perpendicular to the segment itself. So in the case of this one, we've got these vertical control handles. But if I shift drag this guy, they're going to go out perpendicular to the original angle of that segment. So I'll go ahead and shift drag that one out, and I'll shift drag this one out like that as well. And meanwhile, all the other functions that were previously associated with the old convert point tool still work. If you drag on a point, you're going to convert it to a smooth point. If you drag a control handle, you're going to break the symmetry of the control handles, which produces a cusp point. And then if you click on a point, you're going to get rid of the control handles entirely. And that's how you work with the revamped anchor point tool here inside Illustrator CC.